Hi everyone, this one is seven out of seven, week seven out of seven. And in this little introductory video, I won't talk too much. I won't actually dance <laughs> because the last micro practice that I highly recommend is dancing. And dancing or finding our rhythms. And I'm hoping I can convince my dance teacher, Beth, to uh, join me for one of these practices for the playground, the micro practice playground. I'll see if she can maybe attend one of them to to at least for one song to dance with us. I have found that once I got over my body shame, which, you know, three decades, four decades, something like that, um, as a woman in this culture, we all have to deal with some form of body shame. It's just, it's in the culture, it's in the water, we're drinking it. And um, sadly, that keeps many of us from dancing because we feel too self-conscious about our bodies. But for me, I have found that dancing has helped me also appreciate the rhythms of my day, the rhythms of my week, the rhythms of my month, the rhythms of my year. Everything has rhythm to it. This is how human beings exist on the planet. We, we exist within the rhythms of the earth, within all kinds of different rhythms. And the sad part is that many of us have gotten out of touch with our own rhythms because of the industrial society we live in. You know, factories were made for machines, really, not for humans. Um, they were made for capital. They were made for large, um, having large groups of people together at one time because they had to to do what it was they did. It was the the work schedule that exists today was not designed around our ultradian and circadian rhythms. So, do some dancing, find your rhythm. And join us for the Micro Practice Playgrounds in 2022. It's going to be a blast. Take care. Hope to see you there.